So it is important to know which variable is the outcome that you're referring for the y, and which the explanatory variable that is x. This may sound obvious, but in education research, it is not always clear. For example, does greater interest in reading predict better reading skills? Possibly. But it may be that having a better reading skills encourages greater interest in reading. Education research is illiterated with such chicken and eggs argument. Okay, kung sino na una, itlog ba o manok? Okay, make sure that you know what your hypothesis about the relationship is when you perform a regression analysis. And as it's fundamental to your interpretation. So let's try and visualize how we can make a prediction using a scatter plan. So we have your figure 2.5.1, scatter siya, no? and then figure 2.5.2. .2. So these are your variable x and y. Okay, ganun din po siya. So this now the definition. Okay, yun po siya, yun po yung isa, no? Figure 2.5.1 plus 5 observation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no? Okay, we can summarize the linear relation between x and y best by drawing a line straight from the data points. Okay? This is called the regression line and it's calculated so that it represents the relationship as accurately as possible. So yun po yung gagawin po natin. Figure 2.5.2 shows this regression line. So meron tayong tinatawag na regression line. It is the line that minimizes the differences between the actual y values and the y value that would be predicted from the line. So this difference is squared, so the negative signs are removed. Hence, the term sum of its squares, which you may have come across before. Okay, so that's our interpretation. The line has the formula y is equal to a plus bx, where a is the intercept. Okay, so we are using the formula in our geometry. This is now the formula in your slope, no? Pag naalala po yun, the slope of a formula, y is equal to mx plus b. So parang ganito po siya. Okay, so ito na po siya dahil linear tayo, no? Linear. So meron tayong equation of the line at the same time the slope, no? Kasi doon sa una, meron tayong... Pag ganito yung line po natin, okay, meron ganito, no? We have here the positive slope. Pag ganito, we have negative slope, no? Pag straight line, that is undefined slope. Pag horizontal line, that is zero slope. Kaya sabi dito, so if you can recall your formula, mas maganda po yun, no? The line is the formula y is equal to a plus bx. Pareho lang siya sa dati na y is equal to mx plus b. Where a is the intercept. The point where the line meets the y-axis where x is equal to 0. Okay? Where x is equal to 0, then magkakaroon tayo ng y-intercept. From our figure, your y is equal to 2.4. Okay? So yun siya, no? Paano kunin yung intercept? The point where the line meets the y-axis where x is equal to 0. Makukuha po ninyo yung y-intercept. And B is the law is the slope. Okay? Or gradient of the line. So ito yung slope po natin. The amount of y increases for each unit increase. So abang lumalam, ano siya, tumatas yung y po natin dito, no? The slope is equal to plus 1.31 units of y for each unit of x. Okay? Also called the regression coefficient figure 2.5.3. Shows that for this example, the intercept where the line meets the y-axis is 2.4. Kasi zero yung x natin, magkakaroon kayo ng y-intercept. Pag zero naman yung y, magkakaroon kayo ng x-intercept. Ito siya. Okay? If x is equal to zero, uh, if y is equal to zero, ilan yung y natin? Parang ganun po, no? So this is the difference between y and x-intercept. Pag y-intercept, equate yung x into 0. 
Pag x intercept, equate yung y into zero. Okay? The slope is 1.31. That is our m, no? Meaning, for every unit increase in x, an increase of 1, the predicted value of y increases by 1.31. So this value would have a negative sign in the correlation was negative. Okay? So from our line, no? Ito yung ano natin, yung mga drawings pa natin, no? Yun siya, no? Okay, no? Strong positive correlation, weak negative, then strong negative correlation, no? Okay? So dito, this value would have negative sign if the correlation was negative, pag naging negative siya. The regression line represents the predicted value of y for its value of x. We can use it to generate a predicted value of y for any given value of x. Using a formula, even we don't have a specific data points that covers the value from figure 2.5.3, we say that x value of 3.5 predicts a value of y of about 7. So, ganito po siya, no? Dito, magkakaroon tayo ng, kasi meron tayo yung slope, which is 1.31. And this is our equation of the line. Doon muna, meron tayong tinatawag na 55% yung correlation nila. Pero sa regression po natin, habang tumatas yung x natin, ano yung percent increase ng y po natin? Kaya sabi niya, the slope is 1.31, meaning for every unit increase in x, an increase of 1, the predicted value of y increases by 1.31. Okay? Ito yung 1 po natin, no? Okay, may value po siya dito. It is 3.7, I think, no? So, yun po yung value ng y po natin. So, paano nakuha? If x is equal to 0, we have y is equal to 2.4. If x is equal to 1, y increases by 1.31, so 2.4 plus 1.31, that is 3.7. Kaya pagtikin po natin, if we're going to project it upward, tapos tatama doon sa slope po natin, project it to the left, your y is equal to 3.7. Kaya, alam po natin, no? Kung bagat kanina, habang tumatanda ng isang taon, yung, uh, yung ano natin, sample po natin, yung glucose level niya, ay tumataas ng 1.31. So that is linear regression. From the word line, no? Kaya mayroon tayong straight line. Kaya tinawag nilang linear regression. Okay? Tapos we see that x value of 3.5, pag 3.5 na rin siya, project it upward, okay? Nandito, no? Predicts a value by is about 7. Okay? So nandito. Okay? So big sabihin, with, yours, uh, with this value, at saka ano natin, sa table po natin, at saka figure na mayroon po natin, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot po kagad. Okay? Di tulad kanina, okay? Kanina is nagsulot pa tayo. Pero dito, napipredict na po natin. So, ibig sabihin, if x is equal to 6, okay? Halimbawa, after 6 years, okay? Yung ano natin, yung pagtaas ng y natin is equivalent to 10 na. Kumbaga, nung after one year po siya, yung glucose level niya is 3.7. After six years, kumbaga iyan natin kanina, dun sa example natin sa correlation, after six years, yung glucose level niya ay tumas siya ng 10. So that is how important is linear regression. So napi-project mo niya. Habang nagbabago yung walk x po natin, there is a corresponding value doon sa y po natin. Okay? Of course, the model is not perfect. The vertical distance from its data point to the regression line, see figure 2.552, represents the error of prediction. Ito siya, no? Ito yung percent error po natin na tinatawag. Okay? Magmula dito, okay? That is our percent error. Okay? Although, it's only a reference po natin. At least may guiding principles po tayo. Represents the error prediction. These errors are called residual. Okay? We can take the average of this error to get a measure of the average amount that the regression equation over predict 
or underpredict the y values. The higher the correlation, the smaller these errors, residuals. And more accurate the predictions are likely to be. Okay? So the equation is the form y is equal to a plus bx, where y is the dependent variable. That's the variable that goes on the y axis. And x is the independent variable that is plotted on the x axis. B is the, low, is the slope of the line and is the y intercept. Ito siya, no? So ito yung slope of the line natin and it's y intercept. If x is equal to 0, yun po yung y po natin. Kaya tinawag nilang y intercept. Here are the assumptions of simple regression. Linearity. The mean of its error is 0. Dahil straight po siya. Independence of error terms, the errors are independent of its other. Normality of error terms, the error of its variable is normally distributed. Kumbaga kanina sa 2.5.2. Almost the elasticity, the variance of the error for the value of its variable is the same. So, pareho lang sila, no? Kaya tinawag nila, homo. Simple reg linear regression math by hand. There are just a handful of steps in linear regression. First, compute for x and y. Second, square the values of x and y. Three, find the summation of x, y, x, y, x squared, and y squared. Kung baga, ito yung ginawa natin kanina, no? Parang ito siya kanina, no? Doon sa table natin. Compute natin, summation, summation of y, x, y, x squared, y squared. Parang pareho lang po sila. Okay? Solve for the slope. Solve for the intercept. So, alam nyo kung paano makuha yung intercept. Equate natin yung x into uh, y, para uh, x into 0 para makuha natin yung y. Next, substitute the values to the regression formula. y is equal to mx plus b or y is equal to a plus bx. Ito yung formula natin sa slope doon sa geometry. Okay? So the least square has two components. The slope m and the y-intercept. Denote as p. We will solve for m first and then solve for b. The equations of m and b are ito na equation natin. n, summation of x, y, multiplied by summation of x, summation of y, divided by n, summation of x squared minus summation of x squared. Okay? B, summation of y minus, uh, minus m with the short slope ax all over n. So, number of chimpanzees percent successful by n. So, this is our x, this is our y. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The total is 8. Percent successful hand. So, we have y for 4, 9. X, Y, 1 by 30. Ito na siya, no? Column 1 multiplied by column 2. Ito na siya. X, Y na siya. Then, ito yung total po nila. We can have this one pag Excel yung gamit natin. Mas mabilis po siya. Then, we have X squared. I squared po natin. Tulad kanina, ito yung rules po natin. Compute for X, Y. Square the values X and Y. Find the summation. Okay? Summation to na. X squared, Y squared. And then, there, these are their total. Yung summation po nila. Okay? Next. From our formula, nakalagay po dyan, we have m is equal to the summation of n multiply summation of x, summation of x, y. Ito na siya, no? So we have 8 minus 2 to 4, 9. So saan nakuha yun? 8 times 2 to 4, 9. This is our m, no? There are 8 times 2 to 4, 9 yung x, y. Summation of x, summation of x, we have 36 minus by, multiply by 49. Ito, no? 36 and 4, 4, 9. Okay? Then, 8 all over, uh, multiply by 2, 4. 8, multiply, ito yung 8, no? Multiply by 2, 4. And then, multiply by 36 squared. Yung sum po niya, no? Summation of x is 8. Then, I squared po natin. 36, no? Okay, and then I squared po natin. Ito, iba siya, no? Yung I squared dito, nasa loob siya, no? Ito, no? Yung summation of X squared. Ito naman, summation of X lang po siya. 
Then, i-squared po natin. Say with your slope, no? 449 minus, uh, minus 5.4405 multiplied by 36 all over 8, no? So, una, solve natin yung m po natin. With this one, by using your calc u, your slope is 5.4405. Okay? So, yung b po natin, 449 minus 5.4405, 36 all over 8, your b is equal to 31.6429. So, y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? Ito na yung m natin, ito na yung b pa natin. So, y is equal to, this is our equation of the line, 5.4405 multiplied by x plus 31.6429. There you have it, sabi niya, no? We can make predictions of y from the given values of x. Using your equation, y is equal to 5.4405x plus 31.6429. This means that our line starts at 31.6429. The y values increase by 5.4405 percentage. Point for everyone, check and see that joins the hunting party to this uh, to test this out. Let's predict the person had success of four jump and see. Okay, so yung apat po siya, no? X is four. Y is equal to 5.4405 times four plus 31.6429, which results in y is equal to 53.4. Four. Yun po yung y po natin. That is the percentage. Okay? So, ito yung sagot po natin, no? 53.4, parang kanina, doon sa linear regression po natin. Uh, sa correlation po natin. Okay? This is our value. For example, you want to know how strong is the relationship of the exam grade of the number of words the students may say. No? Ito yung estudyante. There are 12 students. Ito yung grade nila. Ito yung words on AC nila. Okay? Sa so, AC type, ito yung luwabas. So, the same as before. Okay? Find the slope, the computer does this for you, no? By using the, ano, sa computer na, input na po na natin, X and Y, or sa Excel, meron yung slope is equal to 3.74. So, that is our M. Tapos kukunin natin yung B po natin. Okay? So, yung B po natin, O meron na siya dito, no? Find the mean of X, exam grade, and Y words on the AC type. Okay? Yun na siya. Your exam grade is 85.75. So, yung mean nito is, words on AC is 176.25. So, this is your X and Y. Meron tayong slope by using our computer. Or, nasot po na natin, no? So, doing the computations, ito yung slope po natin. Ito yung mga mean natin ng x at saka y. This are x, this are y, no? Compute the intercept. Okay? So, saan po natin nakukuha yung intercept? Dito, no? Yung formula kanina. Ito, no? Kasi meron tayong m, meron tayong summation of x, summation of y, then masusolve natin yung b po natin. Okay? So, your B is negative 145.27. So, create a linear regression in equation, you do this, no? Y is in words of AC. So, we have 3.74 multiplied by exam grade minus 145.27. Okay? Note, you can use this equation to predict the number of words of the AC if you know the exam grade or to predict the exam grade if you know how many words they wrote in the AC type. It is simple algebra. So, slope is 3.74. The X exam grade, we have 85.75. Okay? Your B is negative 145.27. Your Y is words at AC is 176.25. So, it's mean, pag nag tayo ng X dito, yung value niya is 85.7, then makukuha natin yung Y po niya, which is 176.25. By using our calculator, no? 3.74 times 85.77 minus 145.27, your words on AC is 176.25. Ibig sabihin nun, pag 85.75 yung exam grade po natin, hindi po natin na rin, no? 
yung words na pwede niya i-create is 176.25. So, bawat grade po na ilalagay po natin, there's a corresponding value ng y po natin using this linear equation. y is equal to 3.74x minus 145.27. So, that is all about linear regression. Napipredict muna, no? Mag-input ka lang yung data, lalabas na yung sagot based on the ano, data ng mga nabigay na before. Then, na-compute natin yung mean, basta linear, no? Ibig sabihin, consistent po siya. Straight po yung line po natin. Next, calculate the coefficient of determination. Coefficient of determination, the computer does this for you. R squared is equal to SS registered divided by SS total. The sum of square registered, sum of square total. Or, it's the same as SS registered all over M, the sum of square total all over N. Okay? R squared is equal to 0 0.85 by using our calcul, no? So, the coefficient of determination explains that 85% of the variation in the number of words on the AC, in other words, exam grades strongly predict how many words a student will write in their AC. So, ibig sabihin nun, at least 85%. Kung yung grades ng isang tao ay ganito, 85% makapag-write po siya ng AC po niya. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Pag mababa, although this directly proportional, mababa lang yun. Okay? Depende po sa grades niya. So, based on our table, no? Halimbawa, 79, ang mararate lang po niya is 85%. Tulad din dito. Pag 97, 85%. Makapag-write siya, so we have 209. Kumbaga, directly proportional pa rin yung line po natin. Kumbaga, yung line po natin dito, with those data given, ito siya, no? Habang tumatas yung grades po natin, okay, with that equation, tumatas din yung number of words na isay na pwede niyang magawa nung isang isyante. So, directly proportional, at least 85%. Okay? Kung nandito siya, halimbawa, grades is 90, tapos tumatas ng 95, yung 85% no na increase niya, yan yung dumagdag po dito. So, directly proportional. Kung baga, linyan, no? Linyan yung pag-increase mo niya. Kaya tinawag nilang linear regression. Okay? So, that's now the difference between correlation and regression. Okay? So, that ends our week 9, which is all about correlation and regression.